if it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. People around here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Ashta do. Friend, I gotta confess. I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but... Well, I can't seem to help it. Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences. And expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. Not a shred of awareness in her. It's shocking is what it is. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better, then those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. I don't know, some technical mumbo jumbo about sensors and behavior predictions. That's not the point. She expect us to just change up how things work and I can't abide by it. We've gotten along just fine until now. Mm-mm, that's a big if. And I'm not about to do a live test of whatever tech she thinks she got. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you lead defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? No, you misunderstand, I think. I placed the order last week. I'm just waiting for it to actually show up. So, did you need something, or...? Uh, no. That's not really accurate. It is, however, slightly less openly hostile a reaction than I've gotten around here, so I'll take it. I'm not sure what you've heard, or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job, or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. That was quite... comprehensive. What to say. Fantastic. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact. Just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability.
busy. Leave me alone. Uh, you want to stop here for a drink? I can assure you there are much nicer and safer establishments in Midtown or the Court. Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. I'd like to set up shop in old facilities. Nice suit. Over there. Doris? I give them three minutes before the stretch. You're a genuine stretch. I mean, don't go using them as target practice, and they're good to go. You got some good news, I hope? Well, that's that, then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there, and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The, uh, guard standing outside there, he's not gonna let me in. I need you to distract him. Hacking the system isn't how we should be distracting that guard, but I'll follow your lead. I should only need a few moments. So, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or, if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Looks like you got some fines to clear up. That's fine. Just make sure you take care of this soon. And don't get yourself into any more trouble. Are you expecting me to jump down after you? They move, they change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. So we have to be prepared. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. And yet, you have aided in the advancement of science. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis. 
that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. sector. That's what you Two of us make quite the pair, eh? I certainly do. It's all yours. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Want to see what I'm carrying? I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Go head to my crew position. Greetings, Captain. Travel safely. Thank you. 
get any rest. I sure didn't. Having a good one? data from the seismic sensors and I, I I need help nothing that would get you in trouble this time promise oh thank you it's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city well Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it I suppose I should have expected that but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project. And none of it lines up like it should. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something's going on. I'd really appreciate it.
vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Right, of course you are. Well then, concerned citizen, there have been some unpleasant developments of late. I'm not gonna name names, but you and I both know damn well who to thank. She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You wanna join me? <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Give yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. You certainly brought enough enthusiasm for the both of us. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. Just one quiet day. Not too much to ask for. like the tracks head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Asta? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming.
Stay close. Stay safe. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. But now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Going to be a manor house, honey. But four walls, a roof, floor. Can Audrey move in with us? Maybe. Mr. Tate says he's starting with four houses, so we'll have neighbors. This is so cool! My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. Parents are coming in nice. I don't like those hooligans. There wouldn't be a sound systems without the trade authority. For the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. We're planning on staying a while. We could grab a room at the Stone Root Inn. Ever run into spacers? <sighs> Scumbags and scavengers. They're like vultures picking away at the leftovers of the colony war. You'll find them scouring through old labs and facilities, taking whatever's not nailed down.
People have no idea what we do to keep them safe. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. You're lucky, Bailey. If it was me, I wouldn't be so lenient. There are two certainties in this universe. Death and eating at a Chunk's restaurant. And to be honest, death is almost preferable. Movement of a city. Galvin was robbed by the shark. That robot could have killed people. Robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey, what were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm out to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. We're not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. for a cup of coffee right about now. would want to live somewhere so old is beyond me. We got a lot of bars in the city, all class joints. Well, except Aggie. So, about this mythical vacation. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of famous people visit Aquila. Hopping so, back up here, you time. never know who you'll meet. I was thinking. The mayor's all right. Always painting too rosy a picture, though. Yeah. They're barely a part of the free start electorate. So we're getting political now. Hopetown's not that different from Kila. Hard workers, and everyone making the uh, Excuse me? Howdy. But it could be so much fun. They say everything's legal on Neon. We'll talk about it later. Welcome to the Stone Root Inn. One of Aquila City's oldest and proudest establishments. What can I do for you? There certainly is. My family's owned and operated this place going back generations. Why, the Stone Root's been around so long, it's even older than Midtown, and that's saying something. Aquila City folk value legacy and tradition deeply, and by running this, I get to be part of that.
We usually have at least one free. Today's no exception. How long do you need the room? I'll get you fixed right up. You should try Philburn's beer. It's brewed in the city and it ain't bad. to actually get some sleep after going to bed. Yes? What? out of trouble. I suppose you could. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The ice has thawed a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. I know, I know. I think we both realize that, and we're working on putting it behind us. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Davis should be more careful. The data shows the Ashta are more active. Ain't no funny stuff with that boost pack.
hard to get that to reinforce the railings on the wall. I have a note from Bailey. Two crates aluminum. Signed Bailey. Not one for paperwork, is it? You're lucky you got that much. Well, as much as I can tell, it seems in order. Looks like we got another off-worlder. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after. Maybe I will. Let's see where this goes. So what can I do for you? Right to the point, then. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. I'm not quite sure, if I'm being honest. It's a gut feeling. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashton out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Kioni showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured what? out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And, uh,. No need to tell her I said that. We wanna go into her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often, we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warnings just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time, miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all say he was delirious. Me, well, I was do as anything to just listen to it. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and the East Street. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? Are you shooting at flies now? If we didn't have proof, nobody would believe us about the Alpha. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I didn't think we were going to make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. There's no way we could allow that to happen. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. No, he didn't. There's no way Davis would say that, even if it's true. But it is true, isn't it? My data was accurate. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. I need to get to work on this immediately. But... While I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. Uh, now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you. Again. Something's on your mind. You can tell me. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Bye, love. How can I be of service, Captain? Commencing item exchange protocols.
Yes, Captain. I am right behind you. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. Anything I can help? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple of Okay, no problem. I am relieved you have given up on carrying everything yourself. Farewell. Back for more, eh? I knew you'd get bored without me.
Docking Bay 1 is free. I'm here for you. Whatever you need, you got it. I'm right behind you. It was a pleasure to assist you, Captain. seen better days. I wonder if the UC will ever fully restore it to its former glory. Was there something you needed? Thank you. Did you have any trouble en route? Good. Very good. Here's your pay, and your continued discretion would be appreciated. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you.
Setting down. Everything in the green.
harness that type of power. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. I accepted the assignment up here. We were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she beat me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... just... got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh... I won't be able to go to the funeral. <sighs> Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Is so satisfying, isn't it? Look at the state of this. Facility. 
facility. I wonder why this place was abandoned in such haste. Jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are gonna travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist. 
deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> you seriously can't get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. Since spin up time almost complete, total time 5 minutes 22 seconds, ride on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time can have room. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years.
high. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied.
Occupants of this colony ship found alternate transportation to evacuate the Earth before it was too late. Search for a way to restore the power and get it back into operation.
Herr Judas Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting hot samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to call you up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I... I don't know how much I should say, but... The periodic table just got thrown out the window.
choice items.
surrounding rock appears to have sealed the fate of this part of the facility.
sunshine. If you have any gear you want me to hold.
sensors are picking up the beginning combat program. I am taking damage.
tactics it must have taken to build it this deep underground. <laughs> it's astonishing. Project Log, Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Project Log, Dr. Judith Petzian. I watched the Gravjet tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grav drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains.
Finding enough clutter there, or should we find some more? Ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Myself. 
He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive, this artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Turn you to the stars. I don't even need a gun.
dime today. Understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel. At the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems?
first. He led you to my meeting with the emissary. Now, that's turned out well for me, but it's hardly good to have someone who knows your secrets hanging around. Second, I don't like him. You'll understand once you've been through a few times. Other versions of yourself have a habit of being distasteful. Now you have regrets about your choice. You've placed yourself in this ridiculous situation. I'll defend you, but I don't have to like it. On the contrary, it cements my trust in you. Sorry to be pushy in the beginning of our partnership, but I insist. Let me take in this moment. It's not every day you get to send an assassin after yourself. <laughs> Good luck.
Maybe if you're lucky, we'll talk again later. <laughs> Captain, it is. I will. Happily. Goodbye, for now. Need me for something, boss?
painful memories or not, it's good to be home. Did you find it? Your answers? I haven't had a chance to talk about all the truths of unity in quite some time. Then you won't be the first seeker of the artifacts to be disappointed. My other self, the hunter, he still believes that there is some truth buried deep in the continuous hunt for the artifacts. And he might be right. Or maybe the answer is that there are things even more mysterious than a miracle like jumping through universes would seem. Will you do it? Find all the artifacts? Reach unity? Yourself? Oh, uh, oh, I see. I, I suppose that's the way it will have to be. So you've come to embrace the path you're on. I hope it gives you what you're looking for. Anyway, if you do get to the unity, I hope you keep our conversations in mind. Figure out your own truth and hold on to it. It could end up being the only constant you have amidst the infinite worlds that will stretch out before you. Which one is the actual unity, the concept, or the nexus between universes? The fact that a real center point between us all exists makes me believe more strongly that something greater is out there. That's actually a difficult question to answer. There was a time when I just stopped counting. I didn't care anymore. Only touching the infinite again mattered. But as my need for answers deepened, my pace slowed. I began to take in more. Sometimes I would try to share my experiences with others. It was a long time until I realized this is where I belonged, in this universe, building the sanctum. Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with preferring solitude or your own company. These days, there are many professions where that's a positive boom. Tell me, why do you want to open up, as it were? That's often the way it works. There's no magic wand, no pill to take, no gimmick. You need to put in the work. It won't be easy. But change is possible. You just need to really commit yourself. My door is always open if you need it.
There are so many mysteries in the universe, so many... <laughs> of course, how could he not? It's exactly what I would do if I was still as lost as he is. You are never fully separate from your other selves, not completely. Do we somehow share a soul, and is it merely our actions that differ? Huh. Another million questions to ponder. Imagine that there's someone that looks like you, knows everything about you, but whose choices might as well be a stranger's for all the sense they make. It can make your skin crawl, as if someone is playing a joke with your very existence. Murdering them is a way to take back control, to say no. Killing every version of us will not bring him peace. Tell him that. If something... This is murder! You're on your own!
Don't make any sudden moves. We've got a live one here. You see security. with you. You think I'm being unreasonable? You have a lot of nerve saying that to me after what you've done. You want to play this foolish game? Fine. Members of Constellation are held to the highest regard, yet you persist on making poor decisions that reflect badly upon us. If you intend to continue this behavior, then maybe we shouldn't be traveling together. I'm not going to stand here and describe everything you've done, but let's just say you need to wise up and make smarter decisions. If you don't, then I need to seriously consider the need for us to be traveling together. Look, I realize things out here can be rough, so I'm going to let this go. For now. Just try to be more careful in the future. Otherwise, you'll find yourself traveling alone. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. I thought you'd never ask. Here. I feel like I'm a better person because of your commitment to gently guide me through life. If it keeps us close. Looking swell today, Cap.
What's up? Just get away from me. All right. Out with it. What the hell is the matter with you? You think I'm being un... You have a lot of nerves. You want to play this? Members of Constellate? If you intend. Uh, look, just...
was it? Did you kill Aquilus, as I asked? Or did you let him go? That's always his problem. So focused on the long run that he never stops to make time to savor the little victories. Funny. Doesn't quite feel the way I was expecting. Well, no matter. Next universe, I'll handle it myself. See if that makes a difference. Sunshine.
good day, Captain. Am I currently in possession of... Return soon. What's happening, darling?
Digital Research Station. You speaking. What is your business here? What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Really? The High Energy Research Lab? All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. What's inside? Stay with me, and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishida.